this comes to you from the North Carolina School Board Association. As you know, uh, there has been a uh, lawsuit uh, in the legislation. North Carolina School Board Association, of which you are members as a, as a board, uh, has filed this along with some individuals across the state. Uh, and uh, this litigation seeks to address the vouchers that already has been referenced. Many school boards across the state have joined in this litigation. The opportunity to join is uh, really at no cost to you because of your membership in North Carolina School Boards Insurance Trust. Uh, that would provide the cost of this litigation. Uh, the, the most important points that the School Board Association has made is that this will draw away funds from uh, the traditional public schools amount for this next year is $10 million. There was a fiscal note in the original legislation that indicated $50 million for the following year would be taken away. Uh, remind you just a couple of points that um, those children eligible for this to access this money through this authority that been, has been created uh, have to be enrolled in the public schools the previous semester. So that would be uh, students who are either leaving the school district or students who re-enroll in an attempt to gain this voucher in the subsequent semester. Uh, this resolution has been, as I said, adopted by a number of school boards across the state. It was prepared uh, in part by the School Board Association, and so you have it before you. Uh, I'll be glad to answer questions that I can about the legislation, uh, but uh, your own Ms. Miller is an officer in the School Board Association, and she has spoken on that, as have many other uh, leaders across the state about this legislation. If that answers questions that I can about this. Any questions about the board? So I'm sure Ms. Miller would be glad to answer. Mr. Chairman, I don't have a question, but I do want to state my opinion as, as we prepare to vote. I do urge the other members of the Board of Education to support the resolution to join with 16 other school systems in the lawsuit that has been filed by the School Board Association challenging the school voucher law. North Carolina General Assembly passed this law and is going to siphon $10 million to provide private school vouchers. And the plan on that drain is to increase it to $50 million per year. The law requires the state to reduce funding in each district to fund this scheme. In effect, it's a tax on school districts to fund private schools. There have been substantial cuts to public education in Raleigh over the last five years when adjusted for inflation and enrollment. I cannot understand how a legislature can tell public school teachers that there's no money for races, no money for master's degree, and not enough money for textbooks, but we're going to reduce funding even more to provide $10 million for private school vouchers. Now, that's not to say that I'm against school choice. I am not. I don't believe any member of this Board of Education is against school choice. Parents have the right to homeschool their children. Parents have the right to send their children to private schools. I don't have any problem with that, but they should pay for those private choices. There's a lack of transparency in the private schools. Private schools are not required to use any curricular goals or guidelines. And in some states, private schools have even used textbooks that claim that dinosaurs and humans existed at the same time. There's no independent research that tells us that the information being presented is accurate. Private schools can exclude handicapped students or students with different religious views. The state is going to be giving out millions of dollars of taxpayers' money with virtually no oversight. And I believe it's a violation of the North Carolina Constitution to use public funds for non-public education. This legislature has not been kind to public education in 2013, but the school voucher scheme is the greatest insult of them all. And I urge support for the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Anybody else? Yes, sir. I wholeheartedly agree with you, Mr. Harris. At a time when public education doesn't have money it needs, we're giving money to private schools, have no accountability to anyone, how the money is spent, they can adopt buy in what students they want. There's no control over who gets the money. There's no control about the quality of the education.
like this read on the state uh, tax payers? Anybody else? Uh, I'd like to say that I am a member of uh, the Cleveland County Board of Education, and as a member of the Board of Education, it is a public school. And to uh, the